Let's review. So Liverpool took on Manchester City at the Etihad and it finished 1-1, a game that could have quite easily been quite a high scoring game as well. Unbelievable. Unbelievable the amount of chances that were had in that game. I think nine in total for Liverpool, uh, eight in total for Man City. Now, on record, they had literally, from the stats that I've got gathered here, um, Man City had one shot on target and it was Aguero's goal. So, I mean, it's one of those, really. You know, if we were a bit more clinical with our chances, we had five shots on goal by the stats that I've got here. Um, you know, we were doing really well. We battled very well. Don't get me wrong, we, were, we did not have the lion's share of the possession which we didn't. Most of the game was pretty much Man City had the possession, but that's fine. That's okay because it looked like we were, you know, we were creating. We just didn't have, we just didn't have the finishing. And obviously, big talking point will be Adam Lalana. Lalana, man, I, I tell you what, when I, when that came up, I couldn't believe it. When Lalana, absolute, how, 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 how do you miss it? How'd you miss it? Commentators were saying, uh, oh, he must have took his eye off the ball. He didn't. He didn't. They showed the replay afterwards where Roberto Flamino had already freaking started sliding on his knees. Oh, unbelievable stuff. He started sliding on his knees because he provided a very good ball that anybody probably would... Lucas would have finished that. Lucas. Lucas would have finished that. Colo Torre. Freaking, I don't know. Brad Jones would have finished that, you know. I don't know. It's one of those, look. It's 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 okay to laugh about it now, but that could have actually won us the game. Uh, the way the the way the game ended, that could have won us the game. It was absolutely vital. Lalana did have his eyes on the ball, and he for somehow he's just misjudged the ball and misjudged the flight of the ball, and he's just mishit it, and it stayed at one one. You know, and it's it's one of those when Man City had a lot of possession in and around our box. De Bruyne is trying to fly balls in left, right, and centre, and it. Thankfully for us, none of them connected because, you know, they did have a good couple of chances. They had some good chances that just didn't, you know, I don't know how they didn't score. I don't know how this game didn't end up being like 4-4 overall. I really don't. But regardless of that, because now obviously we can talk about the, uh, the league table a little bit more. So it's still, we're still in fourth position and Manchester United are now behind us. They're four points behind us now. So winning would have been a little bit, you know, it would have been much more ideal because they're getting closer to us now. Um, Arsenal are in sixth. Wow. Unbelievable stuff. And Everton are now back in seventh. So, I mean, it, you know, the points are very close though. Everton on 50, Arsenal on 50, Man United on 52, we're on 56, City are on 57 and Tottenham are on 59. Now, what we could have done, we could have at least gone third today. I said in my preview that we could have gone second, but turns out we couldn't because Tottenham were playing before us and they won. So we could have gone into second temporarily if, you know, we were playing afterwards, if we were playing before, I should say, but hey, didn't happen. We could have gone third though. And because it's Man City, I'll take a point all day. As said in the preview, Man City have got a hell of a lot of very good attacking players. Um, I was surprised when I saw Origi on the bench and Firmino starting because I thought Origi was definitely going to be injured, but I'm glad that he wasn't because he's a very good, very good player, very good young player that I hope will stay stay with us for years and develop and continue to be involved in the first team. Um, but I was pleased to also see that yes, we had some, you know, we weren't we weren't dominating the game like we normally do, but we still had a plan. We didn't collapse. We got our goal, which is a penalty by Milner. Um, and, you know, there were some really dodgy penalty calls in there that could have actually gone either way. Um, I think the referee in that respect didn't have, you know, Man City, if, I, if I'm being totally honest, Man City should have had a penalty. There's no doubt about it. Man City should have had a penalty, at least one. Um, but they didn't. And that's just how it is. Um, we got our penalty, you know, great. I'm, I'm obviously happy that, you know, we got the draw, that we got the penalty that allowed us to have the draw because, to be honest, our finishing just wasn't up to it. Yes, we had shots on target. It just wasn't up to it today. But I'll take a point all day long ahead of what we've got coming up in the rest of the Premier League. We've got nine games left now after this one. We're still in the top four. There's, you know, there's only four points between us. I think, obviously, you know, first place is pretty much gone. First place, there's no way. I've said since, I think, January... Might be January. I think since January that I've said Liverpool are not in, not going to be in, you know, the title race. There isn't a title race anymore, in my opinion. The only people that can legitimately catch them 
in any way, shape or form is Tottenham, in my opinion. And I don't think it's going to happen. You see how Chelsea are playing. When Chelsea are playing how they have over the weekend and they're not playing their best, they get pegged back to 1-1 and then all of a sudden, like 90th minute injury time and they get a, they get another goal and it goes 2-1. Chelsea are grinding it out. They can win beautifully and they can win ugly and they'll do they can do both in the exact in the same game. They I, I do think that the title is pretty much over and it is Chelsea's it's Chelsea's to hand, hand to Tottenham if any if anything like that does happen. I'm pleased with where Liverpool are right now, but we have to make sure that we stay definitely we have to stay at least in the top four. I want us aiming though for minimum, you know, top three. Getting into that third place because of you never know. I don't want to be that team that gets fourth place and then like Man United go and win the Europa League or Leicester go and do the impossible and win the Champions League and that place is gone. I don't want that to happen at all. We need to be, hopefully, the, you know, the games are there, the points are there. We don't have that much of a bad running, in my opinion. I think teams around us have some worse games to play than we do, like harder games. So... Those are my thoughts, not necessarily about the game, but more about the bigger picture, is that we've got nine games left to go. We don't have anything else to play for apart from top four, and it has to be our priority to get top four at the bare minimum, but top three, for me, is definitely got to be the aim to make sure that whatever happens, we're in the Champions League next season. What did you guys think of the performance today? Did you think we deserved to have the draw? What, what, what about the penalty shouts? What did you guys think of that as well? And, um, you know, what do we have to do to improve for the next game in the Premier League? Let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you ever so much for watching, as always, and I'll catch you later.